Hello guys, welcome back to the shop. We're gonna do a real quick video here on how to decode the maker plate of your neon sign transformer. Almost all NSTs, if you look at the top, have a maker plate on them. A maker plate is just an identification plate put on from the manufacturer, and you'll see these on all kinds of transformers and bits of equipment. Pretty much any serious transformer has one of some level. Some of the custom jobs just have a stamped manufacturer ID part number on them. But for neon sign transformers, you're gonna find overwhelmingly, it's really rare not to see one, a maker plate that looks like this. This is a just a little stamped metal plate riveted to it. It's permanently on there and it does have printing on it. All the black is printing, but all the numbers are stamped permanently in there. This, the black stuff will get worn off, scratched off, weathered off over the years. But as long as you know what you're looking for, even if you don't have the labeling around it, you'll know what the actual numbers mean. So on this one, this is by far the most common brand. This is a France former made by the France company. Um, and this particular transformer is a catalog number. So that's our first thing is CAT. That's the, their specific product number as it appears in their catalog, 12060. Now, and 12060P as in Paul. Now this particular transformer runs on 120 volts and outputs 12,000 volts. So that 120 is one part or other of there and it outputs 60 milliamps. So that 60 probably comes from there. And maybe it's just some clever thing where it's 12,000 for the whole number and 60. I don't know. Um, I really should know this, but the amount of time I've spent playing with transformers, I'm gonna have to look into that. If you know, comment, I really, I'm curious. So over here, it says serial number, S-E-R, but it says 06, 86. I'm pretty sure that's more of a date code than a serial number because think about it, you don't need individual serial numbers on the unsigned transformers, but knowing when it was made would be pretty handy to know. What do you want to bet? This was made in June of 1986, which fits the general look and feel and vibe of this transformer. So I'm guessing that's a date code more than a serial number. Down here it says PRI. That means primary volts, and that's our input power. Overwhelmingly, the vast majority of neon sign transformers you're gonna find in the United States are 120 volt input power. You will find 277s, so watch out for that. You'll see those used uh, in big commercial applications like a, a movie theater or something like that where they have a million of these things. Sometimes you'll see 277 volts. You can run a 277 volt NST in your house on 120 volts, but you're gonna cut the output power by quite a bit, more than half. Um, you can also run a 277 on 240 volts in your house, but that's a whole nother problem and we're gonna worry about that later. So for now, let's just stick with 120. Overwhelmingly, what you're gonna find is 120 volts, so it's not really that big a problem anyway. Over here, hertz. That means if you touch it, it hurts. Um, 60 hertz, which is 60 cycles per second, and that's the line frequency that this transformer is expecting. In European countries, civilized parts of the world that use the metric system and like nice round numbers for their math, they use 50 hertz. Over here, we have 720 VAs. Okay. Before 10,000 people start commenting, I know, we'll get into it later. We're trying to keep it simple. For you, the amateur home experimenter, kid just getting his first NST and learning stuff about it, let's just say VAs are like watts. Okay, think of that like watts. It's not, I know, I know, I know, there's a reactive component. I know, it's volt amps and da, da I, I know but I'm not gonna spend half an hour talking about power factor and reactive inductance and all that. It, 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 not at this level, we gotta keep it simple. We gotta, we gotta go easy. So for now, think of VAs like left-handed watts, okay? When you see, if you walk out in front of your house and you look up on the pole and you see that big pole mount distribution transformer and there's a tag on it that says 25, that means 25 kVA, which means with bunny rabbit ears, 
25,000 watts ish. Okay. This transformer is rated for 720 VA. That means it's rated for 0.72 kVA. A kVA is a kilovolt amp. So 720 VA, which is about standard for a transformer this size. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with the volts and the amps. So that 12,000 volts at 60 milliamps equals out to, ah, ta-da. So the other number on here, which we just mentioned, is the MAs, milliamps. That's the one that matters. That's the big dog. That's, this is where things get serious because that's what you can do with it. You're gonna find NSTs that are frequently 12,000 volts and smaller. They come in a, a variety of smaller voltages. The biggest that you're gonna come across commonly is 12,000 volts. They make 15s. They're a lot harder to come by, but they make them. And at the and that's that's where you want to be. You want a 12,000 volt and a 15 if you can get it. But the 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 other big designator on these is the milliamps. At 12 and 15,000 volts, overwhelmingly, you're going to find 30 milliamps or 60 milliamps. Now volts times amps equals watts. So a 12,000 volt 60 milliamp transformer has twice the oomph of a 12,000 volt 30 milliamp transformer. And just for fun, here's your extra credit. Which has more power? Which do you want more? A 15,000 volt 30 milliamp transformer or only a 12,000 volt 60 milliamp transformer? Which one's going to have more oomph behind it. Comment and let me know. But that's the basics of how to decode a maker plate on a neon sign transformer. You've got your catalog number, which you don't really care about, your serial number, which you don't really care about, because it doesn't matter how old it is. If it works, it works, and if it don't, it's garbage. Um, your primary volt, which is almost always 120, and your secondary volts and your secondary milliamps. And those are the numbers that matter. When I store these and I have them just labeled with a piece of tape, this transformer here, which is 12,000 volts at 60 milliamps, is only going to be labeled 12 slash 60 because that's all I care about. That's a 1260 NST, 12,000 volts, 60 milliamps. It is the one that I have and the one that we're going to see a lot of as we go through this video series that's covering all the basics of neon sign transformers. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden, and as always, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.